back. Uh, we are discussing unit number three, that is electromagnetic theory uh, of optics and modern physics course. And we have seen Maxwell's three equation in our previous two videos. Uh, in this uh, video, we will see Maxwell's fourth equation. The objective of this electromagnetic theory, we know uh, we, uh, we, we will derive uh, Maxwell's equation and we will see the significance in electromagnetic theory. We will see the propagation of electromagnetic wave in free space and dielectric medium. We will also see the boundary conditions and discuss the pointing vector. The objective of this particular video is to discuss Maxwell's fourth equation and Maxwell's equation in free space and also we will see the significance and applications of Maxwell's equations. Uh, let me uh, revise Maxwell's first three equations del dot E is equal to rho by epsilon naught, del dot B is equal to 0, del cross E is equal to minus uh, do B by do T. So, let us now see Maxwell's fourth equation which is based on Ampere's theorem. Ampere's theorem states that magnetic flux associated with any closed path is mu 0 times the current enclosed by that path. So, consider a wire, thin wire uh, through which current flows. Now, we know that when current flows through this wire, magnetic lines of force, they curl around that wire. So, consider a single loop around that wire and the magnetic field uh, due to that uh, single loop is given by uh, dB. So, total field or total flux is given by mu 0 times i as per the Ampere's theorem. So, for that particular single uh, loop as uh, it is uh, the uh, d phi and the magnetic uh, field it is dB. Now, if B is the flux density, then the total flux over the loop of that magnetic flux line is given by uh, integration of this B into dL. So, uh, if we equate these two equations, integral B dL is equal to mu 0 into I. Now, if J is the current density, then current density uh, into surface uh, ds, it gives us current. So, integration of this current density into ds is nothing but the total current. So, now our equation becomes for that i we can put this integration and thus we get phi is equal to closed line integral b dot dl is equal to mu 0 which is there already uh, into integration of j dot ds. So, we have replaced i by this uh, now, this line integral, closed line integral and RHS, it is the surface integral. So, now we have to use Stokes theorem. So, using Stokes theorem, uh, we can convert this uh, line integral, closed line integral into surface integral uh, like this. So, closed line integral B dl is equal to surface integral del cross B into ds. And that is equal to this mu 0 into integration j ds. Now, both these integrals, they are surface integrals and hence we can equate the integrands. So, when we equate the integrands, our equation becomes del cross b is equal to mu naught times j. Where uh, b is the magnetic flux density, mu naught of course it is the per permeability of free space and j it is the current density. Now, uh, this equation it is derived from the Mac, uh, from the Ampere's theorem uh, and it is true for a unidirectional current or a, uh, current along a steady direction uh, because uh, if we take divergence of this particular equation, the divergence uh, del dot del, del cross B is equal to mu naught into del dot J. But divergence of a curl is always equal to 0 and hence this equation is equal to 0. So, this equation demands del dot j is equal to 0 and that means current cannot diverge 
del dot j is equal to 0 that means current density or current can also uh, cannot also diverge uh, it always along a steady or single direction so this equation demands a steady current in uh, one direction so this particular equation is true for the current uh, or field uh, along one particular direction right so now here is the reflection spot for u can we apply this particular equation which is derived from uh, from the ampere's uh, theorem that is del cross b is equal to mu naught into j to the following tank circuit so this is the tank circuit uh, you can see uh, this is uh, resistor rc and this is the supply so when we just switch on this circuit current flows through it this capacitor it charges and then it discharges so can we apply this particular equation to the following tank circuit uh, you may pause the video think over it and then you can give your answer i hope you have got your answer now as the capacitor charges and discharges while discharging the direction of current reverses so current will not be along the same direction while charging and discharging phase and therefore we cannot apply this particular equation to this tank circuit why because the direction of current changes while charging and discharging and as the direction changes the divergence cannot be zero in this particular case so we cannot apply this particular equation so uh, maxwell added a uh, correction factor that is displacement current uh, for this particular case so we have to consider the same tank circuit for this we know that capacitor charges and discharges current flows along this direction then capacitor charges uh, and then discharges but that does not mean there is no current or there is no electric field along this direction there is also electric field along this direction which is negative electric field and on p plate it is positive field and this electric field uh, it transfers uh, in between this plates so when uh, there is this varying electric field between the two plates of capacitor uh, the uh, people observed there is uh, this change in uh, magnetic field there is uh, the magnetic field is generated and this magnetic field is generated due to some varying current and thus uh, there is varying electric field between the two plates of capacitor and this varying electric field is equivalent to the current this current is called as a displacement current so displacement current produces magnetic field like conduction current only of course it is very small in magnitude but it produces magnetic field just like the conduction current and therefore due to this displacement field the current that is uh, we get is called as a displacement current now uh, let's see what is this displacement current we know the general definition of current current is equal to dq by dt that is rate of change of charge uh, we know current density is given by of course current per unit area so current per current we know this current per unit area we can write as q by a okay so dou by dou t of q by a and q by a that is nothing but charge density which is given by sigma so now the current density is equal to dou sigma by dou t and this charge density is nothing but since charges are involved this charge density is nothing but displacement current density okay now using gauss law in electrostatics we know that integral uh, e dot ds we have seen this equation in our uh, first video of this unit e dot ds is equal to e into a so when we integrate this uh, ds surface area ds the whole area is given by a and we know that it is equal to q by epsilon naught when we take this a on this side epsilon naught on this side now our equation becomes epsilon naught e is equal to q by a so if we use this equation and we use this particular equation q by a okay we can write dou by dou t is equal to q by a is equal to dou by dou t 
of epsilon naught e since our previous equation gives this and this is equal to do d by do t where d is the displacement vector displacement field vector and this its uh, rate of change of displacement field is nothing but displacement current density so maxwell added this particular displacement current density to the conduction current density uh, to get total current density so when uh, this d as i told it is the displacement field it is equal to epsilon naught e so for this we have put capital d okay so uh, if we again go back to the slides we know this maxwell's fourth equation and from this we have reached up to this particular equation as we uh, uh, know that maxwell added uh, displacement current density to to displacement current density to this conduction current density j now the equation becomes del cross b is equal to mu naught into j plus do d by do t right do d by do t is the displacement current density and this is our maxwells uh, so for this uh, d we can write epsilon naught e and our equation becomes del cross b is equal to mu naught into j plus epsilon naught do e by do t this is maxwells fourth equation and this maxwell's fourth equation is obtained by adding the correction factor this correction factor which is given by maxwell that is nothing but displacement current density so uh, i hope you have uh, understood this maxwell's four equation and its derivation we will see applications of this maxwell's equation in our next lecture so let uh, let's see the maxwell's equation uh, Maxwell's wave, wave equation. Uh, first equation is del dot e is equal to rho by epsilon naught. Del dot b is equal to zero. Del cross e is equal to minus dou b by dou t. And del cross b is equal to mu naught into j plus epsilon naught dou e by dou t. So these are the general equation. When we consider free space, uh, so in uh, free space. we can use b is equal to mu not h and we can write the equation okay so in free space we know that there are no free charges available so rho is equal to 0 and first equation becomes del dot e is equal to 0 second equation del dot b is equal to 0 as i told uh, for b we can write mu not h and if we put mu not h we can write del dot h is equal to 0 since mu not cannot be 0 uh then third equation becomes del cross e is equal to minus do by do t of b again b is equal to mu not h and hence we can write this equation as del cross e equal to minus mu not do h by do t and for next that is fourth equation again b can be replaced by mu not h mu not mu not get cancelled on both side and our equation becomes del cross h is equal to uh, epsilon not do e by do t why because j is also zero current is not present in free space and hence j is equal to zero so these are the maxwell's equation in free space using these equations in our next video we'll see how to uh, prove that light is an electromagnetic wave thank you